really born out of simplicity. It kind of harkens back to the age-old tradition of pizza in Naples. And in America, people love pizza, but they've come a long way from what it was, in my mind, meant to be, which is a really nice, naturally leavened dough and a couple of really beautiful, simple products put on top of it. We're trying to get back to the roots of pizza. We try to keep everything really simple here. The dough is three ingredients. It's flour, salt, and water. The yeast is naturally derived from the flour and the air and Pizzaiolo's hands and everywhere around you. That's, that's the way it's been in Naples for hundreds of years and we don't have any uh, ideas to change that here at the Good Pie. The oven is a uh, Stefano Ferraro. I guess you'd call it the Ferrari of ovens. It's really hot. It's between eight and a thousand degrees when we're baking a pizza. The trick is having good balance between the, the heat on the floor and the heat on the dome. Um, if one of those things is out of whack, then you're gonna get a burnt pizza where it's soggy on the bottom. My favorite pizza, uh, probably our, our best seller, the margarita pizza. And it's just a classic San Marzano tomatoes, fresh basil, marcout mozzarella, sea salt, and olive oil. Each ingredient needs to have its own integrity, especially when there's only three or four ingredients on a pizza. If one is subpar, it's gonna be pretty obvious. We take a lot of pride in controlling every aspect of the business, and that goes to the beers we select, the cocktails that we craft, you know, we could buy in half the stuff on the bar that you see, the kind of the proprietary items, and Jeff chooses to make them himself. Again, it's that control, but it's also taking pride in the process. I've always been really into making my own ingredients. From there, I kind of uh, went forward pretty strong with making as many things as I possibly can. Um, I, I know pizza and beer is kind of the classic combination, but one thing that I kind of noticed that worked well with pizza is just kind of staying true to Italian-based spirits. I'm gonna start by making a Negroni. It's a simple three-ingredient drink. Obviously, I'm going to taste the drink to make sure it's uh, up to stuff. Perfect, per usual, and uh, give the rim a little wipe. Here you have a classic Negroni. So the next drink is the estate sale. Start with uh, an egg white, Koval Millet Whiskey, House Made Drambui. Since it's an egg white drink, it's always best to shake it without ice first, just so every ingredient emulsifies really well. And then just a nice little sprig of rosemary here I'm gonna break off. Here's the estate sale. It's been very important to us at every aspect of this business to control what comes in the back door so that we give our, our, our clients the best possible product in our eyes. You know, we're constantly learning. We're constantly looking for a better way, a more natural way, a more organic way, however you want to look at it, but um, always looking to get better. And I think, you know, that's why five, six years into the business, we're still growing.